five or six years ago, I, I, I figured that I wanted to uh, take the, the photograph out of its frame to, 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 to make it explode, explode its, its, uh, its classical canvas, its classical uh, uh, way of, of, uh, of, uh, of, of being treated. I have this feeling that, that, that art is, for, is, is made for people to dream and not have nightmares. So I, um, I would say that in this respect, this, this show is, 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 is very much in this line. I, 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 create some, I create a playful installation and also make people use their hands also to produce their, their, their own paper planes. And in many uh, exhibitions of mine, I, I try to uh, engage the viewer either uh, either an intellectual uh, game, and well, in this case, it is a more uh, uh, a practical game, although it, it, it deals with a with a uh, uh, well an intellectual construct, which is the, the design of the of the building. Its design is is uh, is very interesting, since it starts with a square. And out of this square, the building rises and, and, and becomes a, 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 a three-dimensional shape. The footprint is about 60 by 60 meter, and the allowance of height about 12 meter. And that was exactly the, let's say, the volume of the uh, uh, old hungers. And we tried to play with that volume. We basically took that footprint and we were squeezing it, folding it, cutting it. And at the end of the day, we uh, came out with that origami shape. And the form which uh, the architects actually devoted actually was, um, we, was something extraordinary. I mean, it, it was just not a, a, simple, a simple building at all. And I photographed every bit of the building, uh, all, the, all the walls, all the, all the ceilings, all the interior walls, all the exterior walls, and also the bits which are tucked uh, beneath the building. Uh, and also had to uh, rent a crane and in order to photograph the, the, the roof. I made about 700 pictures of, 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 of the building and they were all melted into uh, recreating, the, recreating the structure of, of the building. And this is a very, very lengthy and time-consuming process and that's why it, it took me uh, all three months to, to uh, photomontage it uh, uh, and, and, and recreate this illusion of, of, of having, a, having a flat uh, piece of paper. Out of a, a square sheet of paper, you can recreate the walls and uh, the, the structural elements of the building, uh, having in mind that some of the bits are actually folded under the building, which is quite peculiar. It's his view of the building. It, it's not my view, it's his view, and I appreciate it. So, so uh, why not going into that challenge? Uh, I think it's just a perfect thing, and I'm very happy with what, what, what came out of it. There was something in, from, from children's dream in this, in, this, in this design. I mean, you're talking about paper uh, planes, we have them in the background, but uh, this, this also is basically a, a toy of sorts. We can use the same piece of paper, but instead of creating this shape, we create an array of other shapes which may look like real planes that can be thrown and can be flown. The paper planes are made out of uh, sheets of paper which are one and a half meters wide by one and a half meters wide and double-sided. And uh, in order to achieve this, we had to research and, 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 and try to find the best way to, to create these paper planes. And so the team at Arab was absolutely fantastic. So eventually we, we come up with a series of, of five very large paper planes uh, which will be hanging uh, next to the, um, the pictures that show the building being flattened out. So it's a, it's a, it's a very playful interpretation of, of, the, of, of the building. There we are. Yeah.